So, why should we pray for all the believers in the church? Because they're, they're scared of the coronavirus, but every day we pray, the coronavirus gets weaker and weaker. It loses its power, just like today. And the more we pray, the, the weaker it gets. And the more people that pray, that join prayer, the coronavirus will get weaker and weaker, fast and fast. And some um, day, the more we pray, this coronavirus will be gone. No more viruses. No more spirits of fear should be allowed on earth. I mean, we should just pray for that coronavirus to leave. We should command it to go. It does not belong here. It is not the boss of us. It is not the boss of our body. It is not our soul. It is an evil spirit of fear, a wicked spirit of fear. The devil tries to scare us. He's trying to bring as many people with him in hell. When he de when he's defeated in the battle, the final battle, so we need to command the spirit of fear and Satan's wicked demons to go. I mean, we should just command that this coronavirus to go. It does not belong here. It should not be here. It it should just leave. The more we pray, the weaker it gets, and we, the stronger we get. We're stronger than the coronavirus. The coronavirus is just a plain old virus. It's a spirit of fear. It's a spirit of infirmity. So we need to pray for that coronavirus to go. Yeah, we That's do. why we need to pray for it to go. If we didn't, you'll be slaves to fear forever. That's right. You'll be scared of it forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would be slaves to it forever if we never prayed. But since we, but some of us, we we are Christians. We are the body of Christ, not not those buildings. They're, they are a church, but we're the real church. We're now the church. Uh, the church is just a building. We're, we became the church. In the Old, in the old Testament, uh, wasn't the temple was a church, but in the New Testament, we're a church. We're the church. We're the temple, yeah. And so we have to pray for the coronavirus to go. It's just a wicked spirit of fear trying to scare us. It's trying to. It works for the. It works for the enemies. It works for Satan, the devil. It wasn't brought by the Chinese. Uh, and Satan made it. He formed it to scare us. He wants to bring many of us into hell, so that way when his defeat comes. We will be with him, but we don't want to be with him. We want to believe in God. So that's why we need to pray for this evil spirit of fear to leave. We need to pray for the coronavirus to go. Yeah, you want to. So once the coronavirus is gone, we won't be slaves to fear. Once the devil is defeated, Satan, we won't be slaves to lies, fear. We will be. Buried in God's love and truth and kindness. We are the children of God. I am the brother of God. My mom is the a sister of God. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. I mean, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. And uh, we, so we need to pray for that coronavirus to go. If it doesn't go, we'll be slaves to fear forever and ever and ever. And if we still listen to fear, maybe some, all of us could be in hell. But we don't want to be in hell. We want to be with Jesus in heaven. So that way when we die either from persecution or old age, we will be, we will be in heaven and not in hell. Mm -hmm. So we want to save as many people. From the lives of the enemy. If we didn't, that would be bad because then that means we would be being mean instead of praying for them so that way they can be saved. Those who are mean to you still love them. Mm -hmm. Those who lie to you just tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. 
Like my friend Walker, he can be mean to me sometimes, but I still love him. Hmm. So that's why we need to pray. We're in a spiritual battle of fear. Mm -hmm. This coronavirus is a spiritual battle of fear. So I command it to go right now. We have to pray for it to go. Mm -hmm. If we never pray for it to go, then we would all be slaves to fear and we would fall in hell, burning and burning and burning forever. So that's why we need to pray for that coronavirus to leave. So that we, we're trying to save as many people. So that to, we're trying to save them from going into hell. We don't want them to burn it up forever. We want all of us to be saved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to be kind to others and love them all the time, even when they're mean to us. Mm -hmm. We should not hate them or curse them or say mean words to them. We should say nice words to them and pray for them. Mm -hmm. and, and pray for them and tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you wanna say a prayer? Just that I know there was this Bible verse I heard that said, the truth will set you free. That's right. It was in John eighteen thirty two. A lie can set you free. You'll be a slave to a lie. The truth is the only thing that will set you free. If you listen to the truth, you will be set free. You'll be set free from sin. Let's do a quick prayer very quick. Dear Jesus, please help us in the spiritual battle of fear. Please, God, please. We are bigger than the coronavirus, the wicked, evil spirit of the devil. So I command this coronavirus to leave right now. Be gone all the way. All the way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye.